Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to eliminate shiny hotspots on a portrait in Lightroom. I did this video a few years ago uh, demonstrating how to do it in Lightroom 5. So I think it's time that I did an update video talking about how to do it in today's Lightroom Classic. At the end of this video, I'll just mention some things you could do in camera when you're actually taking the shot to avoid this situation. But right now, let's jump right into how to eliminate these shiny hotspots. What you're going to want to do is get the spot removal tool. You're going to want to be in heal mode and you're going to want to have feather at 100. We could readjust that if needed. And for now, opacity at 100. And what you want to do is get a brush that will pretty much cover the shiny hotspot, which is under her eye here. So we'll do this. And it's going to sample usually a, an incorrect area or an area you don't want it to sample. So what you do is you try to get it on an area that kind of blends in best possible. Then what you're going to want to do is take opacity down. Just keep bringing opacity down very, very slightly till it kind of blends in right about there so there's a before and there's an after and i could even probably bring it down just a touch more so you could see how that looks very natural now now of course we just did it so we kind of know it's there but anyone looking at the image is just going to think that's her makeup so let's do another one we'll come over here and we'll do this one on her nose this one's going to be a lot more difficult there's actually two. There's one on her nose on this edge. That one I don't think I could do much with, but this one here we could do. So we'll come down here like that. See where it samples. Sampled up there. Actually, it didn't sample too bad. And it kept the settings from the last time I used the brush over here uh, with opacity at 56. And actually, that looks pretty good. Let's do one more. Let's do this one up by her hairline and stuff right there course it's sampled over here I don't like that I think it should sample like right around there and that one there I might have to take opacity down just a little more yeah, I think that looks pretty good so let's do a before after there's our shiny hotspots and there's without our shiny hotspots I still could probably come in and finesse this one a little bit so I could come in there that one just that one's bothering me there I think that looks a little better okay there's before and there's after. So that's how you get rid of shiny hotspots in post-production using Lightroom Classic. Now your best bet is to try to avoid this situation altogether when you're taking the shot. A smaller light source will tend to be more specular and give you uh, these hotspots. So if you're using something like just you know a flash, you'll tend to get these uh, hotspots, even a beauty dish. Uh, that's maybe a little smaller could give you these hot spots. So you'd want to try to get a larger um, light modifier, like a large softbox would um, be better than a smaller light modifier, like a bare flash. Um, also, maybe a little counterintuitive, but you should move your light closer to your subject. When, of course, when you move it closer, you're going to reduce the flash power, but the further further away a light is, the more specular the light can be. So it will tend to give you these shiny hotspots. If you move the light closer, it tends to envelop the subject a little more and be a little softer, and you'll avoid these shiny hotspots. So do that when you're taking the shot, and then you won't have as much work to do in post-production. So there again is how you get rid of shiny hotspots in Lightroom Classic. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.